friends, this is a review video of the Woven Wisdom Oracle. Thank you so much to Steve Samsara for sending us a beautiful deck of the Woven Wisdom Oracle cards. Um, we haven't actually looked at them yet, we've literally just taken them out of the packaging so and done, put them on the, the table. Um, so we've done the unboxing part. So excited about this. I'm. I'm aware of Steve's work um, from Facebook and um, I've been following Steve for a while. I think I saw one of his pieces of art on Facebook and decided to follow. Um, and I think it's safe to say, and I could be, I could be, this could be a faux pas, I hope it's not, but I think it's safe to say if you like Brian Proud, his artwork, you will also like this. Um, as I say, we haven't looked at all the cards yet, um, but the artwork is stunning. So I know that in advance. I know that in advance. Um, and I know that from, from the work that I've seen of Steve's, the energy that comes from um, the artwork and the, the characterizations that he puts in, the energy that he puts into the artwork, it just comes alive. Um, so I have great hopes for this Oracle deck. Um, having worked with Oracle and Tarot mm. before, um, um, we're one, super excited about this. One thing we should say is uh, guide and spiritual interpretations were by someone called Siren. Siren has put the um, the sort of spiritual aspect of this into the deck. Yes. And I feel that, you know, obviously the two working together, you know, you put artist and spiritual um, advisor in together and yeah. this has created something uh, that I think is going to be really, really interesting and really special. Um, but as I say, we've we've yet to delve into the deck itself yet. Yeah, so we're, we're going to try and get some live reactions. Yeah. <laughs> which looks very, very cool. There's yeah. A, you may not see it, there's a fantastic uh, image of a, a cat on the... Uh, I want to say bast. He's like a... He's just yeah. a lovely... Fan fantastic. Hairless... What do you call them? A hairless... Um, I don't know cats either, sorry. He's gorgeous uh, anyway. Uh, I'm a dog person. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the beast. the packaging, incidentally, is is really beautiful. They came in a sturdy box um, through the post uh, that was then placed into a, a waterproof uh, covering of that, um, with a beautiful sticker on the front of the box saying um, saying about the pack, what's inside, um, and then inside that were actually kept really safely packaged um, and also within a beautiful velvet bag uh, within that too so you get a lovely velvet bag to keep them in um, and obviously they come in their own box as well um, we should talk about what we perhaps what we did earlier today yes um, earlier today um, because we're trying out this, uh, this oracle deck we did a tarot card reading for each other uh, to see the general situation, we used our, our normal deck that we're used to, um, and what we thought we would do is to do a reading for each other, uh, and maybe show you a little bit of it, depending on how any dark, how and, <laughs> how dark and terrible secrets <laughs> are revealed. Um, but to see how uh, it's different to work with this deck as opposed to a tarot deck that we're very, very familiar with. And how the two compare as well. Obviously yeah. this is an oracle deck, so slightly different to tarot. Tarot has a very definite structure to it, um, whereas this is an oracle deck. And I haven't looked at any instructions. I haven't looked at, um, you know, if there's some sort of order or some sort of... Um, Glancing at the cards, they have different colour borders, so I guess those are different types of cards. So, so we're going um, in blind. Yeah, we're going in completely blind, which is probably the best way to do it. Um, but I know there is a resource online, um, and I should have looked at that. We'll, we'll put the website um, we'll at the bottom. We'll have everything in the description. All the information will be there. in the description below, um, and uh, we'll also put it across the screen as well, so that everybody can see where to go to, to purchase these these cards. Um, so we thought, yes, we thought we'd try a, a, just a basic spread um, with our own tarot cards yeah. to start with and then to repeat that basic spread for each other with this pack um, and see the differences, see if there's anything major that comes out or whether it's the same sort of energy. Yeah. Or, or whether it's there's a different way of having to do a reading, but mm. uh, e either mm. way we'll, we can compare that to see whether it picks up on the same stuff yeah. And, yeah. and how it interprets that energy. Yeah. 
Um, so oh, I'm so yeah. excited because these are so, so beautiful. So the first thing that we've got here is a little leaflet um, at the we'll front. We'll get some close-up shots um, of these. There's a lovely artwork on it. Yeah, there's um, a little bit about the creators um, on the back. And then the leaflet unfolds to reveal... Uh, look at this side first. Wonderful. About the readings deck. on the back. <laughs> <laughs> about the deck, getting started. Um, and this actually, it says, figure out what your query is. So, you know, establish yeah. your question before you begin, that sort of thing. There's a few spreads on the other side. So, um, so it actually does show, yeah, it does show a few spreads that you can do as well. So you can get started right out of the box. Um, which is great, and I think what's fantastic about this also is that if you don't know tarot, it doesn't doesn't matter. It's not relevant with an oracle deck. You are stepping into something other than tarot. It's a bit different. Yeah. So um, yeah, so exciting. So let's yeah, let's have lovely. a little look through, shall we? Yeah. Let's have a little so explore. Really lovely, really good quality printed uh, on nice glossy cards. So the first one we're gonna hear is Hecate. Uh, guidance through darkness, hawks there, and service. So it's got beautiful, That's beautiful really piece nice. of artwork. We should talk about the backs as well, yeah. actually, while so we're... Th this is the green Sequoia, forestry yeah. esque one. Same on the back? Uh, oh yeah, the back's all the back's same. The back's all the same, yeah. yeah. So, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but we'll do some up, up close shots of a few, like, uh, sort of ones that we we might find that are really, really like. Mm, um, mm. So the first one's Hecate, we have uh, Lilith coming in close to behind. It's really nice that it says at the bottom of the card, um, Lilith for example, sovereignty mm. and independence, misgivings, defiance of authority. And um, so that, so that yeah. gives you the idea of yeah. the energy of the card. But I want to talk about the artwork on yeah. this one in particular as well, is mm. that Lilith is a very known as quite a, you know, the rebellious kind of sexualized um, feminine mm. character. Um, but in my opinion, Steve's done this in such a tasteful way. Definitely. Um, um, yeah, we'll, get this we'll do a close up. We'll shot. do a close up of that. But, but sometimes what you get can, can feel kind of cheesy and a bit sort of... Overly sexualized. Personally, yeah, yeah. personally, I'm not a fan of, of, that. of that kind of artwork in that I feel as if it's a little bit, it's there just to catch your attention or it's mm. perhaps a little bit degrading or come on, when women are more than just that, you know? Um, so to have Lilith depicted in that way, I mean, that is a beautiful It's a beautiful really, card. really beautiful artwork. I mm. love the fact um, in there that it's got nods to some of the really old depictions of her. There are some fantastic old carvings where the wings at the very background are almost identical to that, which is a fantastic little touch which shows the real sort of uh, heritage mm. element of it in there mm. as well, which is fantastic. Um, some of us, oh, he looks fantastic. He looks like me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there, there's so much life in, in that card. Um, here we go, there we go. He's, he's got, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's got so much greenery and life coming off it. Um, with various different things. The more you look, the more you see. So he's yeah. got a serpent intertwined in his antlers. It's it's beautiful, beautiful artwork. I love I love that, you know, with with a tarot deck or a, a, an oracle deck. It's sometimes disappointing when you explore a deck and you just kind of glance at it and you go, oh, I feel like, I feel I've got that, or I I know the image. Mm. These images, the detail in the artwork, would take. A, long a good time, time yeah. to to look at, and you know I like decks that you have to use over a long period of time, and you're still going. Oh, I didn't notice that before. It's this. Uh, it's something that I didn't realise was there before. So that's fantastic. Ah, right. Really this good. makes right. sense. Right. Okay. Are you so discovering something? I'm, I'm discovering something. So on? these uh these sort of browner okay. bordered ones are almost like your. I would assume like the major arcana. I haven't looked at the booklet yet. So okay. There's probably a big words and you're going wrong, wrong. <laughs> but um, there's some fantastic ones. You've got things like the Morrigan, you've got the All Father. Uh, it's really nice yeah. that um, there's different, uh, like different sort of parts of folklore and mythology mm. and all that kind of stuff, all interwoven within this. Yeah. 
So, you know, you can be kind of, you'll be aware of these energies, but you'll be learning more about them as you go as well. And you've got these more, um, there's this okay, sort of let's see. lovely now sort look. of... Let me see, let me see. No, no. Um, <laughs> so excited. There's a lovely sort of teal. Oh, lovely, okay. Ones. So these look like, I mean, you know, we're go bear in mind we're going into this completely blind and we haven't looked at anything online. I'm sure these different um, sections of cards different types of the cards within the deck have their names, what they're, what they're actually called. Um, these are obviously, um, you know, experiences or Fantastic. sort of, you know, they're really, really beautiful. Look at the sacred scientist. Oh. It, there there oh. are ones in there where it's, you, you get elements of, you know, you get frowns, you get pan's labyrinth, you get all these yeah, yeah. fantastic magical depictions. Mm. Um, and it, it's really, really cool. And, uh, it's so nice to see like fae folk and fairy folk that are shown as not being these almost tacky half naked yeah resin figures and and not and not you know we use the term a lot but yeah. not fluffy yes so to us it's really lovely to see that it, there's the depth here yes there's you know you shouldn't really be entering into a reading only focused on the positive because life contains positive and negative and you need to be aware that there are both and that cycles of life contain both and if you're doing a reading for yourself or for somebody else then there is going to be positive and negative in there and to see the Definitely. depth within the cards um you know i assume that you could use if you wanted to reverse meanings if you were to, to have the cards some of the cards the other way up um but there are some really lovely concepts in here. Really, really beautiful. Well, there, there, there are some in here where I'm looking at. I, I actually, I wouldn't mind this as a fashion choice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who, who's your character? That's interesting, yeah, isn't it? Because that, you know, who would your character be? Oh, there's the cat. Yeah, there's Let's the cat. Let's have a look. Yeah. Where, what's he called? The Wayward Guide. Shifting goals, drop assumptions, and explorations. It's, it's very, That's lovely, isn't it? It's, it's very sort, sort of dark Cheshire cat esque yeah. type thing. He looks blind. I wonder if he's. I wonder if you you know you have to drop your assumptions and yeah. explore through more than just what you're seeing. Perhaps fantastic. Uh, I mean, the 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 student is just me at work. It's. <laughs> there's, there's, there are some really beautiful cards. In so here. some of the cards. There, there's a, there's an overall um, color tone, if you like, to the cards. It's a sort of uh, granity. But there are silvery color. But there are some here, this one that I've just spotted, it's got a lot more sort of colour in it in the, you know, some of the, the drawings are just pencil drawings. Yeah, so some of them have got more depth and some of them have got more colour to them. Some of them even go over um, different styles, you can see some of them have got different uh, uses of different media, so some might see the watercolour, mm, some mm. may have got elements of possibly ink use. Um, mm. So in ter there's a whole range of art styles, uh, even within just this, uh, I'm going to use this, the, the phrase suit mm, uh, as well, mm. which is absolutely okay. lovely. So we carry on looking through and we have a sort of a lighter brown, uh, so more all, of a reddish brown. It's all autumnal. Autumnal brown and gold colours um, in, the, in the background or the border of this one. Um, that's the witch. That's the witch. She looks all powerful and really cool. Put that Old one out there so we remember there. which ones we need to yeah. show up close. There are some really interesting concepts in this as well, in the artwork, that you find in different... As you explore your own spiritual path, or as you sort of travel on your own sort of learning mm. journey, you hear about these tales and the folklore and the, you know, maybe the Definitely. tales of the gods and the goddesses Definitely. and, you know, all that kind of thing. It, it's brought into the artwork here, which it's, is really good yeah. because you can see an image and go, oh, I relate to that, or I know yeah. the background behind that a little bit. Obviously, there's more to it, learn it, it's, and it's, more it's to discover. It's a lovely but... thing. It's almost like a, like story hooks or um, mm, mm. something that brings you it brings you in deeper because um, that's certainly what I found when I started really practicing was I had all these stories told to me by family members, grandparents, yeah. Yeah. but uh, going into it, you're going, Oh, that's the kernel of truth behind yeah, that story. Yeah. Or that's that's where yeah. that's come from. And you, it, right. it's a fantastic one. It feels yeah. very much like you know, it's almost like opening up this sort of Easter egg of a, yeah, or um, it is. It, it's a wonderful, wonderful. Um, I've just spotted some things that I'd like to. Of course, of course, sorry. Talk about. There's a card here called Transformation, and 
um, it says confront hard truths, faith and self-improvement. Now, to me, that that's very similar to the death card, where mm. it's transformation through pain, through pain like yeah. transformation through or, you know, the end of one thing and the beginning of another. And so, you know, it, it sort of relates to the death card. But it often means that transformation within yourself. Yeah. So that I just found that really interesting. There's another card here, stability. A beautiful. Be beautiful dependable, idea. access safety and emotional balance. And the um so the, that particular one yeah. is almost the opposite of the tower. Yes. Because you get the tower card where everything's just falling in on itself, you know, it's total destruction of everything. Um, but there you've got stability. Yeah. So that's almost like a really nice nod to yeah. Let's balance this out a bit, or let's, yeah. you know, let's have yeah, a little bit of balance. Lovely. Right, so I love well. those. Uh, just so we've got that one there, because mm -hmm. otherwise we'll be kicking ourselves if we haven't got decent up close pictures of this, because it's a lovely, beautiful, beautiful deck to look at, and we will be doing it a disservice if we didn't show you uh, these cards that we, oh, yeah. we've mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think this is the last. So we say section, yeah. and this has got this lovely sort of dark black, almost marble esque mm -hmm. border. Uh, and the first one we had was Himalayan. that's adorable. <laughs> oh. But these seem to be uh, the first couple of ones seem to be a, almost like a series of uh, skeletal figures. Um, so we've got ancestor work, giving back, and thanksgiving. That's in Himalayan. That's lovely. We've got things like foresight, which is breaking cycles. Uh, analyze cause and effect. So you've got these. I love how here. he's just looking at himself in it. In the mirror. Yeah, it's a cult, I think, is it? Yeah, but it's he's using it like in ah, he's yeah, yeah. foresight, like analyzing. Now I love this one, unbothered. <laughs> That's it, great. It, it is so so fantastic, and yeah, <laughs> even though he's got no eyes <laughs> as a skull, <laughs> I totally sympathise with this little character. This is a great example of the humour. Yeah, that's in the pack as well. I've noticed a few a few nods to uh, to the humour side of it, but the unbothered that's fantastic. Yeah. You know, just the finger raised, cup of tea. Never mind the sharks, dear. It's it's fine. So confidence, um, social awareness. Don't give don't rise. Don't give rise. So, so yeah, that's, I love that. that that's yeah, a lovely card. I, I I would actually quite like that as a print or as a yeah e e even wonderful. as a t shirt maybe. Yeah, that, that's a, that's yeah, lovely. That's great. These, these are beautiful. So there's more of like a that sort of fey folk, which have got real character. There's a, some beautiful, beautiful ones in there. Mm. Um, <laughs> so these, these skeletal ones have got a really... Like, they're so characterful, they? really they? characterful, and they've yeah. got that really lovely one that comes across. So, yeah, beautiful, beautiful deck. So, Max, I, I know <coughs> that you are um, into fantasy artwork in in the fact that you play a lot of video games that are based around uh, myth and legend and fantasy mm. um, and you have other interests that, that link in with that as well yeah um, and you are a really good person to be able to say what fits in with mythologies and things folklore and things that you are already aware of yeah I mean, that's that's something I quite enjoy if I'm any any content I consume, it has to have something real there, and mm -hmm. uh, you can really see it in this deck, which is really, really lovely. Um, I'll be honest, usually I don't go near Oracle decks, but this one is very different. And, I, and I'm not just saying that, but that these yeah. are, I, I feel like I'd be happy to work with this one. It's not, it, it feels like there's so much more thought behind the artwork mm. and uh, what's going into um, the the message that's coming across in the cards mm. is so much more than here's a random picture of an angel and here's yes. Kevin, you need to deal with yeah, your washing up. I feel the same. There's, there's a lot of depth and a lot of thought into this. And I think, to me, it's it's really clear that the the artwork sparks that mm. sort of depth and that, and that, you know, building a story around just one image. Definitely. The artwork sparks that. But then to have the input of somebody who has a background in Definitely. spirituality and paganism and you know it's, it's very very clear that the two have worked so well together to be able to produce something with real meaning and I yes. don't usually use oracle decks because I don't gel with them I, d I just think oh this this is 
you know, there's so many cards and they all, they're all just melding into maybe five or six concepts and that's not enough for me, it's not enough depth. Yeah. These really do have, their own, each card has its very specific own story behind it and that's what I love about them. Shall we um, have a go at doing this reading? Yeah, shall we other. do that? And, yeah. and, and see, see what go. comes up, because be re- I, I would be really interested to see how that comes across from, yeah, uh, yeah. from what we've done this morning. This I week. have to say, I know already that I would use this deck. Yeah. So we're going to have to buy some. Yes. Because <laughs> we're going to be fighting over this deck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just put it on the top <laughs> shelf, you can't reach it, it'll be fine. But um. yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. You, you've made customers out of us. Um, yeah. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, I'm looking forward to delving in and and seeing what comes out in, in a reading. Um, incidentally, I just want to say before we, we go ahead and do that, um, Steve Samsara is the artist and you really should look him up. Um, his work is really so fascinating and beautiful and genuine and it has depth to it as well. I know that this particular deck has been years in the making um, and you can tell, you can yeah. tell that there's so much thought and so much work has gone into this. Um, but also what I wanted to say is that, you know, it comes from a place of real genuine care. Mm. It's not just been thrown together and pushed out, oh, we can make some money off this product. You know, you can tell that it's that there's so much energy and thought behind each and every one of the concepts and each and every one of the pieces of art that you that you are looking at here and none of it feels tacky or or just for the look of it it, it all has depth and it all clearly has really yeah. deep meaning and that actually some of the images really do generate quite a lot of emotion i find mm, definitely you it's, know uh, there's there's cards here that i've just glanced at and gone oh i feel that really yeah. feel that that's that's an, that's definitely an aspect that's within me and to have that in a just as a, on a first glance on an oracle deck has actually never happened to me yes i, so. I totally agree with you there and um this is making me want to go and do more artwork oh um, that's, that's which great. is fantastic so it's it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a sparked yeah. inspiration as well so this is really great. really cool great. Uh, so very excited to see so Super duper. So we're going to delve into the Woven Wisdom Oracle. We've completed our readings uh, for each other with the Woven Wisdom Oracle pack and compared it to the reading that we did this morning with our usual tarot cards and we had some interesting results, didn't yes. we? Yes, yes. Um, it was very interesting to see there are certainly a lot of the same messages coming through. Uh, some of the uh, information might be in different places. Uh, though granted we did use a different spread than the ones that would be in the, uh, the booklet. Came. We kept to the spread that we used this morning so that we could compare them card by card. Yes. Um, and that spread isn't in the booklet for the Woven Wisdom. But, but nonetheless, the yeah. information can be used the same way. Uh, we use the Celtic cross spread, um, but the information comes across in the same, the same manner. It as works well. to do it, it does, that way, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So that, that, that's a really nice one to, to, to find out as well. I found good. that... It, it was almost as if, you know, when you do two readings or, when, you know, when you take any two packs and do 
the same reading again with another pack. You're you're likely to discover more layers within the, same the knowledge question. that you're yes. yeah. And so the the information that you're getting from the cards is going to be deeper and it's going to contain more information. But there was nothing in there in my reading or in your reading yeah. that was totally wrong. Yeah. There was nothing in there we thought, oh no, that doesn't fit with what the reading is about or you know, yeah. all of the cards worked in some way and that's not us trying to squeeze it in. That's not us trying to make it fit. It was kind of like, yeah, yeah, that's you know yeah, that makes that's sense. the concept that, mm. that makes sense for the card that came up in the first reading. So yes. really, really interesting. Um overall then, what's your opinion on the woven wisdom oracle? Being a person that usually avoids oracle decks, I really, really like this one. Mm. Um in many different ways it's um, brought across in a fantastic way the interpretations are really nice um, o overall it's a, it's a really really high quality uh, product and something I will be happy to receive as a gift mm -hmm. or <clears throat> something I'll be happy to use so mm -hmm. I, I would say a, it's I, I'll be more keen to use that one if I had to use an oracle deck I would certainly oh, yeah. use this one yeah. uh, so Definitely, definitely worth a try. It's certainly worth picking up if you're getting if you're new to uh, things like tarot uh, and oracle cards. This is a really lovely option because they've got some of the mm. information on the actual deck, uh, on the on the, on cards, the cards themselves. themselves. Sorry, mm. um, so it's a lovely one to look at, and mm. it's not fluffy nonsense. It's really, really good. There's a lot of depth in yeah. each card as well, which is great. The artwork is fantastic and, and really genuinely really fantastic artwork um but the concepts are excellent as well mm. you know the the sort of magic behind it and the way that you can interpret the cards it's really easy to do it's really easy to sort of look at it and it, you can feel your mind expanding you know you could because especially when you're sort of looking at the cards for yourself or for somebody else you're looking at all the possibilities that are encompassed mm. within that particular card and the surrounding cards and how it reacts to the other cards around it within the reading. Um, and so there's there's a lot of scope here for different types of readings and also using the cards for your own um, you know, development as well. And I think that the way that Siren and, and Steve have worked together to create this, it's just worked so well. Um, yes. And you can tell there's a lot of experience behind it. There's a lot of, you know, the concepts are not necessarily concepts that I've seen in other Oracle decks, and I really like that. It's it's lovely. Um, mm. If you want uh, if you want to purchase your own deck, you can get them from thewovenwisdom.com. Uh, there's also some lovely high quality images of the uh, cards there as well. We'll put the links below in the description, so you can just head on down to the description and click on the links, um, and it will take you there. There's some more information on the website as well, so it's worth checking out. Yes. Um, always interesting to do. Always good to follow uh, Steve as well, Steve Samsara um, on social media, so check him out definitely if you're into this kind of artwork. Definitely mm -hmm. worth a follow. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We would love more subscribers on our YouTube channel. We really appreciate you watching. Thank you very much for, for sticking around. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.